I want to test this here with another quick tip. This one is going to be about the infamous reboot process. I know there's a few misconceptions out there, and I'm sure some people aren't familiar with the reboot process in a Tesla. So I'm going to get started with the what's called the soft reboot. This is your first option. Tesla calls this the uh, touchscreen restart. Now it's recommended you only do this when parked. The car will still drive in a pinch, but the status display, the safety warnings, and backup camera won't work. So it's just not as safe. To do the soft reboot, you want to press and hold your two scroll buttons like so until the screen goes black, like that. In the S and the X, it'll be your two steering wheel buttons. So after you press that uh, and the screen goes black, your Tesla T logo will appear in about 30 to 45 seconds. This should be done for any screen issues, like freezing or anything buggy like that. It's always your first go-to method. It's often used after a software update as well, concerning things like your phone or Wi-Fi may stop working. Now you may have heard of a hard reboot involving the brake. To my knowledge, and I've checked with a few experts, and pressing the brake pedal as well as your uh, scrolling wheels does absolutely do nothing different than your soft reboot. Uh, it's not even actually mentioned in the Tesla manual. So just stick with your soft reboot with your two uh, scrolling wheels and that'll hopefully fix your problem. Now in a few seconds, your Tesla T logo should show up. There it is. And your computer is rebooted. So if the soft reboot didn't work, your next option is what's called power cycling. The car does this after 15 minutes of being inactive, but sometimes it's useful to clear up any unusual behavior or alerts. What you want to do is go in your car settings. Uh, under safety and security, you'll see power off right there. You wait two minutes uh, before you touch anything. Don't open doors, touch your brake pedal, or touch screen. After two minutes, press your brake pedal or open the door to wake the vehicle up, and hopefully that resolves any issues you have. Your next option is what's called a hard reset which involves disconnecting your 12 volt and your high voltage battery. Tesla does not recommend you do this at home, and I suggest that making a service appointment uh, before going this route to clear up any issues you're having with the car. I hope this tip is useful for you, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one. And again, thanks for watching.